Yeah, what up, what up, what up? So what is up, everybody? Um, This is not an actual episode of the Format Podcast. It's just a quick little snippet, give you guys a little something. I know it's football season, and uh, in light of the fact that week one just passed by, and don't worry, in a day or two here, you're going to have a pod on that where I'm going to go ahead and uh, get into that um, a fair amount. But um, in the interim, in light of uh, the fact that this past weekend we had another one of these big celebrity boxing matches, um, Vitor Belfort basically beat the brakes off um, a 58-year-old Evander Holyfield, forcing a stoppage and really, you know, causing a lot of people to question the validity of a lot of these so-called celebrity boxing matches slash um, uh, exhibitions that have been going on lately. And, you know, I talked about that recently um, after the Jake Paul Teron Woodley fight, but it made me think a little bit about boxing. Well, think some more about boxing, because as you know, by now I am a boxing fan, but it made me think about it and really think, you know, since the days of, of the Roman days, right? We, we, as human beings, we love the gladiator aspect of combat sports, right? Whether back then it was the gladiators, then, you know, moving forward, it was the bare knuckle boxing and then the actual, you know, boxing with gloves, so on and so forth. And now UFC and boxing. But for me, like, you know, I, I am a boxing lover. So it got me thinking like, what, what is so great about boxing? What can I share with you guys, my format podcast viewers that I love so much about boxing? And I thought about it and it just took me to what I think are probably the two greatest rounds in the history of the sport, at least in the modern era, right? That we can go back and, and watch. So the first one um, on this short video I'm going to show after I get done talking here is, uh, and I'm just going to let it play so you guys can enjoy it. Um, the first one is what most boxing pundits, fans, and purists argue is the uh, greatest round, the greatest single round in the history of boxing. And that's the first round of the epic three round war between Marvelous Marvin Hagler and Tommy Hitman Hearns, right? That first round was absolutely incredible. Uh, it was a slugfest. Both of those guys came out to really land punches, open up the fight, take it to the other guy, hopefully score an early knockout. And it was just incredible all the way through. It was, um, again, widely regarded as the greatest round in boxing history. So, you know, me ever the, I guess a lot of people would like to say contrarian, but then it made me think, is it really the greatest round in boxing history? So I started kind of looking around and thinking, what other candidates do we have? We have uh, Tyson Razor Ruddock. We have um, Evander Holyfield, Riddick Bowe in the first fight. I mean, all three of them were really great, but the first fight, there were probably a number of rounds that we could look towards and say, you know, maybe that was the the greatest round in boxing history. Um, uh, a little known one would be uh, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez and uh, uh, Sor Rungvisai um, from uh, maybe six, seven years ago, something like that. Um, that was just an incredible, incredible slugfight. That whole fight was amazing. But if you kind of want to go and point to one round that maybe could compare to round one of Hitman Hearns and uh, Marvelous Marvin Hagler, it would probably be round nine of the first Arturo Gatti, uh, Mickey Ward fight, Irish Mickey Ward and, and Arturo Thunder Gatti, rest in peace, Thunder Gatti. But um, that fight right there, the whole first fight was just incredible. I mean, it's an all-time great boxing trilogy. If you have time, it's on YouTube, go back, go watch it. But round nine of that first fight was, you wanna talk about a war? That was probably one that could have been stopped a couple of times, you know, for the whole premise of saving the fighter from themselves. Either the cornerman could have stopped it or the referee could have stopped it multiple times if they had wanted to. But just just watching it, you know, the round opens up basically with uh, Mickey Ward landing a brutal body punch to Arturo Gatti. And, you know, the commentators and most of the fans didn't think Gatti would make it through the round, but it turned out to be one of the most amazing slugfests in boxing history. So I'm going to stop yapping right now and go ahead and just let you guys enjoy those two incredible, incredible rounds of boxing action. All right. And uh, this is just a little snippet, a little something to hold you over until we get a full length pod. All right. Uh, thanks for checking in. Staring at each other through the national anthem. The stare down, of course, so customary before these fights. And here we go, round one. Hagler, right off the bat, 
attempting to get inside. He'd love to be able to pin Hearns on the ropes if he can. A more aggressive start by Hagler. Look at him right for the body. Marvin Hagler only wants the body. He bangs Marvin. Oh, Hearns may have hurt him with a right hand. Hurt him with the right. Hearns hits him with an uppercut. Hagler, he's hurt. Hurt. Hagler is done. Hearns got inside. Hit him with a right uppercut. Marvin ties him up. Marvin Hagler is still hurt. So it was Hagler coming out like a bullet. A good left by Hagler. But Hearns didn't flinch. Marvin going for the body. Wild first round. Wow, what a shot. And it was Hagler who initiated it, not Thomas Hearns. And a left by Hagler. Hagler. Hearns comes back. Another right. That one stunned Hearns. What a first minute of the fight. Tommy Hearns has been able to drop that right hand in, and it has hurt Hagler, a surprise to many people. Another right hand from Hearns. Hearns moving. Hagler still pursuing, comes in with a right, missing with a left hook. Here's where I believe Hagler should turn to right. He could block that right hand easier, and he would land his own left hook. Hearns with a devastating punch. Swelling near Hagler's left eye again. Tommy trying to come inside the hands of Hagler. Low blow by Hearns. Hagler's still looking for the body. A right by Hagler. Good right got in. He has Hearns where he'd love to keep him on the ropes, but Tommy comes off easily. Another good right by Hearns. Hagler is now shaking those right hands off, though, Al. He was stunned a little early, and he's normally a slow starter. He's also bleeding. Hagler is cut. Hagler is cut. Bridge of the nose. Hagler hitting him low. He is banging the body well. He is taking shots to the head. He blocks that right. Hearns tries to come in with the uppercut, and Hagler ties him up with a minute to go in a wild first round. Marvin with a good left hand. There's blood all over Marvin Hagler's face. Can't tell where it's coming from. I thought it started in the bridge of the nose originally, but blood all over the face of Hagler here in round one. That's but Hagler has him on the ropes. Hagler working on him. Hagler relentless, but Hearns trying to box his way out. Half a minute to go in round one. How far can this one go? That's this where it's on his face. This is where Hagler wants him, but Hearns counterpunching off those ropes fairly effectively. Tremendous first round. Hagler hitting under the rope, working on it, but Hearns uppercutting again. Hagler bloody. A tremendous sensational first round, and Hearns gets hurt. Hearns got stunned. Hagler was stunned early in the round. Great first oh, round. Wow. Incredible. Perhaps one. That Nicky Ward can keep fighting through this kind of action. Ward landed yes. 42 out of 71 punches. We're in not round. sure about Gaddy because right. he hasn't yeah. been in this kind of a war with as a strong a fighter as Ward before. That body shot again. That's a body shot. It's the left hook to the body. Ward's money punch. And this knockdown counts. And he is hurt. This is it. It's, it's not going to recover. It's not like a head punch. He may not be able to recover. I don't think so. And, and Ward is going to go right back down there again, right to the body again. He's still hurting from the body punch also still, in addition to the head. Arturo Gatti refusing to go down as Mickey Ward pounds away. In the past, this is where Arturo Gatti has been dangerous. But Ward should go back to the body again. Gatti risking another low blow penalty to try to get Ward off of him and lands another big shot. Burton, could Ward punch himself out for the time being with yes. that tremendous barrage in the first minute? Just look at this. Unbelievable. Can you believe there's still a minute and a half to go in the round? Blinking away the blood in his right eye. Can't see out of the right eye. Vicious body shots by Getty. Ward nods as if to say, come on. Come on. Come on, let's fight. Stop, stop. Now. 
Rogers trying to get a break. Rogers should go right back to the body. This is even more than you can dream of. Just imagine if you bought a ticket. Stop it, Frank. You can stop it any time. Arturo Gatti's out on his feet. Frank Cappuccino's going to let him keep going. Gatti doesn't even have the strength to tie Ward up. And, and Ward is tied. Should be the round of the century.